Now the next step is to apply the magnetic snaps to our gift card holder. Before we do that, I am going to take a piece of craft cardstock and I'm going to take some of the one and a half inch score tape. And watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to rip some off and I'm going to place that right up along the edge of the craft cardstock. And now I'm going to punch out two circles. And of course, you can do this with dies if you want to do it that way. But I'm going to punch out two circles. I'm going to line that up. Just flip it over. That's one. And then I'm going to do one more, same way. And now I have two. And the reason why I did that is because these are going to be used to hide my snaps and to keep them secure on the project. And rather than just using a little bit of score tape around the edges or a little bit of Glue Glider Pro, I really want to make sure that the entire surface of that piece is covered with score tape. So by punching them out with score tape already on them, they're going to be much stronger. Okay. So now I'm going to use some of the magnetic snaps. Now rather than opening these, I haven't opened one here. And you'll notice that the magnetic snaps come with positive snaps and negative snaps. And they work together to create a magnet. So you can see they'll just pop together, jump together. Now it's a pretty strong magnet. It's not as strong as some of the bigger magnets that you would use to really hold something big. But it is strong enough that they do stick together pretty well. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to peel them apart again and I'm going to start by putting one magnet down on the inside of my gift card holder. The inside bottom flap. The outside of the inside of the flap of the gift card holder. That makes sense. You'll see what I mean in a second. So you're going to peel off the little plus sign and it doesn't matter if you do the minus sign or the plus sign one. And I'm going to place that right onto the little bottom flap there. Can you see that? And I'm going to measure to make sure that when I cover it that the whole thing will be hidden underneath. Yep, okay, my circle will be hidden underneath. Okay, so now I'm going to press that down really well. Now, if I wasn't using textured cardstock Remember, I created a texture using the Cuddlebug folder. If I was using just smooth cardstock, my next step would be to put the other snap on top, peel it off, and then press down. But if I do that, they're going to stick together and I'm not going to be able to get them apart easily because the bond is going to be so strong and there's not enough grip on this textured cardstock. So I'm going to upholster on top of that snap first. Okay, so I'm laying that down and I'm really making sure that all my score tape is down really, really well. Okay. Okay. Now my next step is to put the snap on top. See, it just jumps right into the right place and peel the minus off. And now I'm just going to press down on top. Now that, right in that one little spot there, is where the snap is. I'm pressing right on the glue, and now I should be able to pull that apart, and it's in the right spot. See that? It'll go right back and shut again. So I'm going to apply my other circle. And now I've placed the other circle on top of the other magnet. So now I've got a very, very secure closure, but I don't have to worry about the magnets coming apart because they're stuck down underneath these two circles. All right, now I'm going to take a little bit of ribbon and I'm going to add some score tape onto the surface of this ribbon. This is going to keep my ribbon nicely in place so I can decorate the top flap of my gift card holder. And you've seen me do this before. This is a great way to put your ribbon on. Make sure that it sticks exactly where you need it to stick. And I'm going to lay it down there. Pick it up. 
and place it exactly where I want it. Oop, move it over just a hair. Okay, so now I have my piece of ribbon and it's finished off nicely underneath. And now I'm just going to place my focal image right on top. Let me just straighten that a little bit here. Okay. And now using a little bit of glue glider, I'm just going to add the glue glider to the top of the star because the bottom of the star is going to hang over the flap and I don't want it to stick onto the bottom part. And now I have my cute little masculine gift card holder where I can put a gift card for a birthday. And the way I like to put the gift cards in is, in this case, from my iTunes card, I'm just going to use a glue dot. I'm going to put one glue dot up near the top of the gift card and just press it down and secure it into place. And that will hold it into place. And then the snap will keep it shut. Use magnetic snaps to close boxes, to create little doors on scrapbook pages with hidden memorabilia underneath, or as a sturdy way to keep any paper craft project secure.